Ninataka kusema ya kwamba tunaendelea pale tuliachia wale watu ambao mnao tusikisa katika platform yetu ya YouTube Apostle Nicholas Mwongela ninasema Mungu na wabariki sana kila mtu amesubscribe kwa hii channel endelea kuambia wengine maana Bwana amenituma ameniandaa kwa iki kizazi na ninataka wale ambao mnanisikia muendelee kunifuata mkiunganisha tulianza wapi na tuko wapi ili mwisho tukiendelea endelea maana maandiko yanasema mtawajua na matunda yao nilisema hapo wiki jana maana nilikuwa kuna ujumbe nimeweka pale ambao ulikuwa unangusia mmoja wa dada zangu katika injili ambaye ni bishop Margaret Wanjiru na nimeeleza vizuri wale watu ambao nakuta mnajaribu kusema kwamba si ungeenda kwake ukamweleze nimejaribu kuwasaidia kwa maneno tu ya utulivu na waambia kwamba nyinyi ni wale watu wa msikizaji ujumbe wote and you are very dangerous people maana unakuta au na ukweli wote aujui mambo yameanzia wapi imefika wapi na unaongea tu tafadhali ninawaomba wale mko na bandos eh, ama data bandos ambazo asina maana ni heri munitumie kwa simu yangu ili niendelee kusaidia watu wengi wafikiwe na njili ya Yesu Kristo wacha nianzie na kusema hivi wapendwa ebu tu Ebu 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 niongee tu kwa upole kwa upole siku ya leo Kuna huyu mfalme alikuwa anaitwa Ahab ama Ahabu Biblia inasema hivi Hakuna mfalme alifanya mambo maovu mengi Israeli kama huyu mfalme anaitwa Ahab Kwa njili ya kumsikiliza mke wake aliyekuwa anaitwa Jezebeli kumaanisha aa alikuwa na mbegu ya Mungu ndani yake lakini sababu alienda akaoa huyo mwanamke alikuwa anaitwa Jezebeli kutoka nje ya Sidoni na huko wale watu Mungu alikuwa ameambia wana wa Israeli msiende kuoa watu wanawake wa hiyo nchi mnaenda kuingia kwa hivyo kuna madhara watu wa Mungu kila angiso bwana atakupatia ama atatupatia ama amepeana kwa neno lake na anasema msifanya hii maana mkifanya hii matokeo yatakuwa ni hii na waambia vizuri Mungu wetu watanganyi Mungu wetu usimamia na ufuata neno lake na ndio ninasema hivi nilikuwa nimesema leo hii I mean huyo mfalme anaitwa Abu Biblia anasema yule kwa anasema hivi ndili nimalisha hiyo part alikuwa amesema alikuwa ameambiwa na Mungu Mungu alikuja akamtokea akamwambia utakufa kwa kwa hakuna mtu atakayesimama na akaambiwa laana mingi zile sitavuata mboma yake lakini nambia alipotoka kwake biblia inasema wakati Ahabu alisikia ule ujumbe kuna kitu alifanya alienda akavaa mangunia akajipaka manjivu hiyo ndio ilikuwa hali ya kunyenyekea kuonyesha umenyenyekea kurespond kwa ule ujumbe umepeanwa na akamnilia bwana na nambia yakiwa anaenda akaambiwa rudi tena auoni vile aabu amenyenyekea mbele zangu wapendwa kumaanisha ama watu kumaanisha namna gani Mungu akizungumza na mtu yeyote Mungu akizungumza hata kama ni mtumishi wake aidha anamkemea na murekebisha aidha ni watu wake ukisoma Jeremiah chapter 7 utakuta pale Nehemiah Jeremiah I mean Jeremiah chapter 7 maandiko yanasema Jeremiah aliambiwa aende asimame katika malango ya nyumba ya Bwana pale Yerusalemu na angoje watu wakiingia hekaluni na waambie hivi amen to your ways na akawaambia nini akaambiwa na Mungu amini awaulize hayo maswali je mtaua nyinyi wale mnaoingia katika haya malango kumwabudu Bwana Mungu anawauliza hivi nje mtaua na mzini na na muroge na mfanye mambo kama yale alafu mkuja katika hii nyumba inayoitanishwa na jina langu na mwanza kusema hekalu ya Bwana hekalu ya Bwana Jeremiah anaambiwa asimame pale awaonye watu kabla hata waingie kaluni kwa hivyo ninasema namna gani kile 
utegemea vile Mungu atachukulia neno lake ni vile wakati umesikia hiyo neno na una react namna gani wakati huu ni wakati wa neema neema ambayo ililetwa na Yesu Kristo Ahabu aliponyenyekea Mungu alituma nabii tena akamwambia rudi na umwambie hayo mambo haitakupata kwa wakati wako nataka bado nasikia nataka kumaliza hiyo na akamwambia mambo yatatokea wakati wa watoto wako kumaanisha tunapombondeka mioyo yetu Mungu akizungumza nasi maana hata Biblia inasema kwamba unaposikia sauti ya Bwana usifanye moyo wako kuwa mgumu watu wa Mungu hebu tukatani kuwa kama Kaini Kaini alijaribu kusaidiwa na Bwana ikawa ni mtu awezi saidika hata wakati wametoa dhabiu hata wakati wamemaliza kutoa hayo sandaka mbele za Bwana Bwana akamwambia Kaini kwa leo sitaweza kukubali sandaka yako sasa kile utafanya thambi na kusubiri pale katika mlango shinda huo uovu rudi tena wakati wa kutoa sandaka tena utakuja na usimame mbele yangu lakini Kaini akusikia hiyo na akatoka nje na asira akakataa ushauri wa Bwana mara mingi hata hawa watu unakuta especially vile nimesema nime Bwana alinituma kwa huyu mtumishi wa Mungu na sio huyu peke yake ni wengi na hata watu wengi wale ambao mnasikia neno la Bwana na mnangumisha mioyo yenu pia nyinyi mko katika hiyo huo mpangilio tu kwamba usiposikia neno la Bwana usipobondeka bondeka ukisikia neno la Bwana kuna madhara itakupata kaini alitoka kaenda akamua ndugu yake akiongeleshwa na Mungu anajivanywa kichwa ngumu rebellion is a sin of witchcraft wale watu mnakuanga na vichwa ngumu mnaposikia Mungu anasema hii mnaposikia Bwana na anataka haya kwenu na waulisa na waita mutubu na waulisa na waita ninawasi mujivundishe mtu kama Daudi ametenda dhambi mbaya sana amefanya uasherati amechukua bibi ya mwenyewe amefanya uzinzi na Daudi anapangisha vile mume wa huyo mke ataenda kuuawa na akauawa kwa hivyo alifanya dhambi zote zile mbaya katika sila wanadamu wanafanyanga ameua amechukua bibi ya mwenyewe amefanya usinzi usharati roho ya nyoka ikamwingia Daudi lakini Daudi alipoendewa na mnabii anaitwa Nathan akamwambia kuna mtu alikuwa kondo moja akambatia unabii akambatia kama vile wengi wenu tumekuwa tunasungumziwa na Bwana wengine Mungu anapitia njia tofauti kwa nyimbo wengine anawatumia watu direct wengine anawanenea kupitia roho mtakatifu direct na mnafanya vitu zenu kwa ngumu ni mua waangaliu sana maana tuna ndili na Mungu wa miungu na yeye ofuata neno lake Daudi aliposikia hiyo alinyenyekea unasikia akisema kwamba e bwana niumbie moyo safi create in me hebu tuangalie hayo maandiko ya Daudi Psalms Nimalishie hiyo hapo. Maana kuna vitu nataka kukanusha hapo mbele. Maana kuna nabii hapa Kenya. Kuna mwanadamu hapa Kenya anajidai kwamba yeye neema ni yeye upeananga. Ninakuja kwa hiyo swala saa hii. Kuna mambo ambayo nitayakanusha. Na ni watume watu wote kutoka watu wa mintia social media mtu yote ataona huu ujumbe nataka utumwe uende kwa huyu mtu mnamwita David of War mnayemwita the mightiest prophet tremendous mnao sema ni uwaro wawili mmoja mrefu na mwingine kadogo ambao wanafanya mambo wanasema mambo ambayo aiandamani na neno la Bwana na watu wanasimama wanapiga makofi watu ambao na shangao wengine wamesoma hata ile masomo tulienda shuleni tukasomeshwa ni kwa nini haiwezi kawasaidia maana pia hiyo masomo inasaidia kuondoa uchinga katika wanadamu 
kabla hujaingia upate sasa elimu na hekima sawa sawa katika kumbokea Yesu na kumbokea Roho Mtakatifu kuna mambo nataka kuongea kuhusu ni nani mwenye neema ni nani aliyekuja na neema neema iko ama iko itakaa mpaka nini without any complication maana hii roho ya deception ni lazima iwe condemned ni lazima inyoke na mizizi yake na ndio wale watu ambao nimeishi ninawaambia hivi kama auombi kuna mtu anaomba kinyume na wewe kama utafuti bwana Mungu akuonee rehema kwa ajili ya maisha yako kuna mwingine anaenda kuzimu kwa madhabahu zangisha amebeba sandaka anasisimamisha na anaongea na mizimu anaongea na wachawi na waganga ili walaani wewe kwa niaba yao ndio nilisema kama auombi jua kuna mtu anaomba kinyume na wewe na ndio anakuta Yesu anatilia mkaso maneno kuhusu kuomba maneno kuhusu kumtafuta bwana anasema mtafuteni bwana maadamu apatikanapo anasema ombeni bila kukoma anasema hiki naomba na waambia watu wote ombeni Yesu mwenyewe akiwa Mungu Yesu mwenyewe aliyetuokoa unaona wakati wote Biblia nasema anaenda milimani kuomba kama vile ilikuwa desturi yake Wakristo wale ambao maombi kwenu sio mpango katika mipango yenu uenda mkakaa maisha marefu lakini maisha kushambuliwa na adui maisha kushambuliwa na ufalme wa ngisa wanafunzi wa Yesu wanakaa na yeye wanamwambia Yesu tufundisha jinsi ya kuomba anawaambia unapoomba muombe kwamba baba yetu liye mbinguni jina lako litukuzwe ninashangaa leo hii huyu mtu huyu mwanadamu anaitwa David wa war Yesu alisema tuseme baba yetu uliye mbinguni sai kumeingia Mungu mwingine katika taifa la Kenya na ulimwenguni lakini wakati wenu umeisha I, I told you and I am repeating it again God told me my son I am sent I am preparing you and I will send you to a generation that, that has gone far from me but if you obey my voice and you go and sound the trumpet I will bring them back to myself just to mention but a few things before I get inside the bible says in the book of a guy that the glory of the latter church that is chapter 2 of a guy that the glory of the latter church will be greater than the former one now the first church the church of the apostles when jesus came we see peter we see is the other disciples whom jesus left preaching the gospel people like paul who joined later they were murderers they were persecuting the church when you read in the book of acts of the apostle chapter 9 the bible is talking about how Saul was breathing threats against the church of christ but because god had a plan he changed this man Saul, whom we call paul and that man the bible says if it is the dead he resurrected the dead if it is creepers creepers walked during the times of petro do you remember when petro and john were going to the temple the hour of prayer and they found that people seated there 
at the beautiful gate and the Bible narrates it well that they looked at him expecting to receive something from him but it, when it, that one they all looked upon him they told him silver and gold we don't have but we are going to give you what we have and it is the best thing anybody can receive because if we give you money today if we give you silver today or we give you some help today that help is going to be taken by the people who take advantage of your crippleness and of all they stood and they looked at him and they stretched their hands what are you going to work and they told him in the name of jesus christ rise up so what to kanisa la kwanza kina petro the water will tembea the water will tembea vizi will shikia mbubu will ongea wafu will fufuka muna kumbuka petro ndiye alimfufua ndiye alimfufua dorokas 